What's up guys, Killer51 here, and I'm gonna get another episode of the Little Shots when I finish this season. I have to fight this bird. <laughs> okay, well, uh... I decided on recording two episodes in a row, because YOLO. So, um... This is exactly where we left off, because I don't give a crap about what I did. Okay, so let's... Wait, this bird is back? No! Uh... Just die already. Bruh. I literally side jumped off the edge. Can I? I can't, <laughs> I can't use items in this form. This is, <laughs> can I just attack you please? I don't want to jump off the edge. There we go. Die. Look, just a little farther. Oh! Another bird here. Can I? I don't want to fight any of you. Get away from me! <laughs> Why does he jump it off the entire thing? That's... Can I please just get up, get up here now? So what's down here? Nothing. Okay. Midna? Maybe <laughs> you remember my name? What an honor for me. So this is the one for whom you were searching. Were searching. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess I'll do. You were imprisoned? I'm sorry. Poor thing. He has no idea where this is or what's happened. So do you think it should explain to him what you managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess. <laughs> Dude, she said the name of the game! <laughs> Listen carefully. This was once the land where power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. That has been turned into a world of shadows, ruled by the creatures who shun the light.
It is time for you to choose. Surrender or die. Oh yes. A question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? Twilight covered her like a shroud, and without light, the people became spirits. Within the twilight, they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. And the people know, all the people know now is fear. Fear of a nameless evil. The kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. I am Zelda. Sad. We actually find it. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, is perpetual twilight really all that bad? I mean, uh, this is no time for levity. Shadow beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed? You tell me. Time is going short. The guard will soon make it his rounds. <clears throat> you must leave here quickly. Please, you must leave quickly before the guard comes. Okay. Not that way, the guard's coming. Boy, he's a prompt. He's prompt. Do you know or understand where we are now? I guess the promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled to the twilight. But are you really so sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? <laughs> so you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But. Well, you'd have to be my servant. Like, a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and give us some thought. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the Darkened Realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self. 
and you won't anytime soon. Now why could that be? <laughs> See you later. Okay, so uh, we're left without a clue what to do. But it's still day for some reason. Oh wait, it's turning dark. So um, what next? Did you think I'd disappear? Listen, there's nothing. There's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Last time, last time a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you'll need the cooperation from of someone from the twilight, like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you can never trust words, you know? Right now, I want a sword and a shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? <laughs> so what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up! Okay, jeez. So we need a sword and a shield. I guess we'll go into the village. Why are there monsters in the village? I have no idea, but uh... Where's Sapona? Where the crap is Sapona? Wait! Oh, that's... <gasps> we can talk to a squirrel! We can talk to a squirrel. We can talk to a freaking squirrel. Okay. Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village. What? But I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Orden. If you're in any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another. Sure, we'll be alright. Okay. Oh, how did it come to this? The children. Please say nothing happened. Please forgive your good for nothing father. I actually feel sorry for him. Uh is there how can I get the check? Russell Orly and Colin. Uli? Okay. How can I go into this house? Because I know there's a shield in there somewhere. But whatever. Oh no wait, there's a shield over there, isn't there? Oh, about the shield. Hey, not so loud. I came to it as we discussed. I checked as we discussed. We have I have to go even closer? There we go. So that shield is still in your house, right? Uh, yeah, it should be in our storage loft. Good. Go grab it, quick as you can. Russell got wounded pretty bad, so he can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. But Russell had a sword, Mayor, and he still got hurt. If you are unarmed, you're done for. I'll be fine. The sword you were going to present to the Lord family should still be at Russell's house. Oh, yeah? Alright, I understand. I understand, Mayor. I'll hurry up and get the shield. I forgot to give the mayor the voice, damn it. <laughs> I hurry up and give get that shield. You just wait here. 
Ooh. No good. Run. That's not bad. That's not a bad bit of information you heard, right? Uh, look at that over the video. The village full. This village is full of idiots. So. We should jump up there, but from where? Let's talk to the dog. Nighttime walks up are so nice, aren't they? I've been finding something good buried today. I love digging holes and looking for treasure. Use your X senses and what? Use your senses and use Y to dig before you'll see anything strange. You'll dig something up. Okay. So where? Oh, nice. Can I dig it? Okay, it's just hearts there. But let's. Uh, crap, we're fast in this form. I like it. Uh, where should I jump from? The monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My, my daughter! Return her! And take this! Ow! What? Okay, I can't. How do I take care of that guy? Hey, that guy up there, don't just ignore him. Do something. How, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Speak. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm sorry, that person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You could sneak up from him behind and scare him. Okay. Where am I supposed to jump up from though? Oh. Come on, let's get up the roof from there and from here and start getting scared again. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got the shield, I guess. Are they still in here? Guess not. Hearts. Please. I found it. I found it. Okay. You got the Orden Shield. It looks kind of cheap. All right then. Next is a sword. Here we get one. Okay. How do I get out of here? How do? Oh. I'm dumb. Okay. What was that sound? The children could have... Could not have returned, could they? We must go and search one last time. You get inside the house. If they have placed the sword that was to be a gift to Hyrule on the couch, if the Mary comes for it, please give it to him. But darling, your injuries! Okay, so I think that that uh, is going to be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please do a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you then.